So, today I got a message for the women. Yes, ladies, <laughs> I got a message for you. Last time I made a video for the men, and I, I talked about, you know, I told the men that if they are in a church where they are being shamed for being single at a certain age, it shouldn't, it, it's not that they should leave that denomination, but they can leave that local church and go to a different place where God's word is the primary focus. Now, I made, I, I, I made it clear to them, they can do that. Today's message is for the women. Ladies, I got a message for you. But before I get in, if it's your first time, hit that subscribe button below and that notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. Number one, ladies, and that's not for every single woman. That's only for the Christian woman. And when I say Christian woman, I'm talking about the Proverbs 31 woman. Not any kind of Christian woman either. The Proverbs 31. There is a difference between Proverbs 31 woman versus Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1 woman. That's for the Proverbs 31 woman. Okay? Now, it's not going to be easy. You got to put some work into it. Number one, ladies, if you ever think of getting married. And don't worry, I make a video for the men as well when it comes to marriage. Um, if you ever think of marriage, you ever want to get married, number one, don't go for a man who is not a Christian. Okay? If the guy is an atheist or is Buddhist or is Hindu or is sat Satanist or witch, whatever, wizard, however you call him, don't go for that kind of man. Okay? Because... I, I know there's a lot of women that think, well, but you know what? I, I, he can change. Ladies, if you meet a man, unless God sends you there, do not go there. Most of you are not supposed to be going to men that are up or contrary or enemy of God. Do not do that. So if he is not a Christian, first and foremost, that should be the first requirement to even think about wanting to know who that person is. If he says he's an atheist, turn around. That's my first advice. Number two. Ladies, it is not just men who are visual creatures. Women are also visual creatures, actually. Um, I saw the reports that apparently most women to most women 80% of the men are not attractive which means most of you would like to find a man who is attractive not a problem but if you're going to find a man that is attractive be like us men. If you find a, a man that is less attractive but has better character, when it comes to biblical character, pick that man over the one that is m more handsome but yet that is a son of the devil. Just in as it is. Number three. Number three. I I also hear that there are women that are you know looking for men that have um, sexual experience. You know, they want the a man who can who is already good in bed. Um, I got no issue with that, except if that man is good in bed when it comes to practicing that, I think that's pretty bad. Because you can find a man who is good in bed, who is also have not been sleeping around. Yes, you can. You can find men that are good in bed 
When I say good bed, it's not that they went and slept with a bunch of women. Those men may have taken courses to learn about the anatomy of a woman. They have, may have taken or they, they may have read books that talks about how you should make love to a woman. They may have all the knowledge and they are just waiting for a woman who is not promiscuous so they can enjoy that with. If you want to be with a man who had his time in the world and his time in sleeping with women, multiple women, let me tell you something. There's a high likelihood, even with the ma- within the marriage, he will step out. Not all of them, but there's a high likelihood, especially if a lot of other women desire him too. Which is my step number four. Ladies, in step number four, it's a two-part. Yes, you, you want to find a man who's attractive. But find a man who's attractive, but is also a husband and father material. Because if you find a man that is attractive, yet doesn't want marriage at all, if he says, my goal in life is to stay single and sleep with as many women as possible, even if he is, even if he is Christ, Christian, please do not go for that man and think you can do the number one, which is change him. No, don't even try that. If he is a, like a man who is attracted by other women and you know he doesn't have that father or husband material character in him, there's a high chance the other women would do their best to sit with him and take him from you. But he might be attractive, but if he has that husband and father character in him, even if the other women were to try to make a move on him, he would not fall for that because he wants to be with the one person that he has, which is you. So yes, find a man who has that father or husband characteristic. If not, well, I don't know. Lastly, number five. Ladies, let me let me take off my glasses for that one. Mm. Ladies, the men that you are supposed to be chasing, make sure that God sent you that man before he starts chasing. Yes, I know you have been taught that the man is supposed to be chasing you. Um, it could have been true. I don't know if it's true or not. Most men were taught that, you know, you need to be chasing the woman. You know, you need to convince the woman that you are the right man. And most of us have learned in the hard way when we got older that this is a bunch of lies. And the more we chase the women, the more they look at us as uh, we are um, creepy guys and sexual harassment. And so what, what men are doing now is, you know what, hey, I'm going to stop. And men are now learning from other men who had experience. And like, wait a minute. So we're not to be chasing the women? No. Men are now stopping that chasing women, chasing women mentality that we, that we grew up with. So ladies, I think the tides have turned that you now should be chasing the men. But, like I said, chase the men that God sent you. Don't chase him away. Like, go after that kind of man. Because more likely, he will be a father figure. He will have, oh, no. he will have the fatherly characteristic and husband characteristic. He might be hands- he might be handsome, but for sure he won't be an atheist if you're a Christian. Most likely he'll be somebody within your faith. He would not be the kind of man who's been sleeping around with other women as well, right? So don't just chase any man chase the men 
that God sent you. You find out most of Sunday. It, uh, it may look or sound easy, but it will not be easy when it comes to doing it. Because you're going to have to face maybe sometime rejection. Maybe the guy wants to stay single. Maybe he's already taken. Maybe he's already married. Maybe he has children and you don't want to have and you don't want to marry a single father. I understand. But it may not be easy. But still go after the man that God has sent you. Don't forget again you no know, to hit that subscribe button on your way out and that notification bell. And of course if you have any question, you can put them in the comment section down below. My email is in the description. If you want to send me videos to react to or questions you have, I will take a look at that as well. It was Open Road TV. I hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.